Hello everyone, I'm here with Eddie Money. Eddie, it's a pleasure having you here, man. Thank you so much. I love your accent. French boy, huh? Huh? French or what? No, Argentinian. Argentinian. Oh, I love it down there, man. Yeah. Had a lot of fun down there. Love those Argentinian girls. Don't tell my wife. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, how was uh, that you decided to be part of uh, Ronnie James D uh, concert? Well, I know Ronnie a long time when he's playing with Rainbow and, of course, you know, Black Sabbath. We've been friends. And uh, yeah, his widow is a very good friend with my Wendy Dio is a very good friend with my wife. And they've raised over a million dollars for this cancer thing, which is great. We got some really great heavy metal bands here today, and it's, it's great to be part of the whole thing, you know? Oh, no, I wish good. Ronnie was here to see how many people loved him, you know? He knows. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, live after life. Must be a Catholic boy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what's going on. What are you doing right now? Uh, I got a new record coming out. Not that anybody wants. Once they got your greatest hits, they don't give a shit if you live or die. But I got a new record coming out. Really good material. And one of the songs we're dedicating to the troops, uh, our men and women in uniform serving our country in Iraq and Afghanistan, all over the world. Well, a lot of the money's going to the Trepid Hall and Heroes Foundation, okay. which is a non-profit charitable organization for these troops coming back from over there with, that are messed up, you know? What is the name of the new album? It's called the Intrepid Fallen Hero Foundation. A song called One More Soldier's Coming Home. And I'm doing, yeah. It's, it's coming good. home. One More Soldier's Coming Home. It's going to be on the new Eddie Money record called Shake That Thing. My son's got a record coming out. It's called Des Money. Very talented young guy. I, I don't sound like Joe, Joe Jackson, but he's good. He's really, <laughs> he sounds good. <laughs> so, since this is a heavy metal uh, event and how, 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 what is the link you have with the heavier music? Because you play rock mainly. Well, you know what, uh, uh, you know, I've always liked Black Sabbath and, uh, and uh, Ronnie D. Rainbow and, and, and all the, you know, Athrax and all the, all the groups that are, I've always, interested, you know, I love it, heg, I love heg, heg banging music, you always have, you know. You know, like late at night and stuff like that, I want to get a buzz on, I put on something really heavy, you know, that's what it's all about. And I don't put on two tickets to paradise, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, last one. I put on paranoia or something good, you know. <laughs> Last one. After seeing your daughter playing in a reality show, what do you think about this kind of uh, contest? Well, I thought the reality show, you know, it was it was kind of hard on all the folks because we love our kids so much. But uh, you know, uh, Bobby Brown was really a good cat, and uh, I'm sorry to see his daughter in such bad shape. And you know, I mean, Tommy Johnson was there. We had a lot of really good people there. The kids are in the music business, and. We had a lot of fun. It was all about the kids, you know? Yeah, I Of course, know. I was hoping my daughter would win, but it didn't happen. There's any plans touring overseas? Because this is for Latin America, Europe. Well, I tell you, I love Argentina, man, and uh, <laughs> I think the best beef in the world is from Argentina. It's not from Texas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel pleased. <laughs> <laughs>